Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. Today I want to teach you a really cute and practical 3D project for a gift card. This cute little envelope is actually using the new gift card framelets die and it will create a gorgeous pocket for any type of gift card. I've made this one a little on the glam side because you know my taste, but they can certainly be whimsical or for kids or for any occasion. Holidays are not far from us, believe it or not, and you're going to probably give a lot of gift cards this year, so this is a great way to make them look real fancy. Let's get over to the stamp table and let's get started. I wanted to give you a little close-up of this gift card holder. Isn't it pretty? All right, let me show you how to put this together. I started with a piece of six by six basic black cardstock. The great news about this is if you buy the 12 by 12 basic black cardstock, you're gonna be able to get four of these from a single sheet of paper. And then I'm gonna use the gift card envelope and trims thinlets. Now this is gonna fit on here at an angle. I wanted to give you a quick glimpse of this here in the catalog. It includes not only the thinlet for the envelope, but it also gives you some really fun tags and little accessory pieces that can be included in your envelope for embellishments. I'm gonna begin by positioning my paper. One of the clear mats on the bottom and a clear mat on the top. Great thing about the magnetic platform is it's gonna hold the die in place as we crank it through. Now I realize this appears like it's going to be a really tight fit, but the one thing I want to remind you about the big shot framelits and dies is they're going to cut on the inside circumference, so none of this on the outside is going to matter. Okay, and that leaves us this. The other great thing about the die is check this out, it's done all the score lines for you too, so it's really easy. I'll use my bone folder to fold on those creases so that they're nice and crisp. Now, whenever you do a 3D project, you wanna make sure that you use the bone folder because you want it to lay like it's intended. Now, it doesn't really matter which end that you fold up because they're both exactly the same. So in essence, it's gonna go like this. Now, you can use a little bit of the tear and tape here or you can use glue dots or snails. Since it's just paper, it's gonna be strong enough. But I'm gonna use the tear tape. I think it's called tear and tape, but this is just easier. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna be putting this exactly where it needs to be so that I don't go over on my tape. So I'm gonna put a little bit here. Gotta love that you can tear this as you go. And a little bit here. I'm gonna do the same thing now on this side. I'm careful not to put any adhesive right here since that of course would then restrict the opening of the gift card holder. I'm gonna press the tape down so that it sticks. I like to use my piercing tool for this because I have a hard time getting the paper backing off. So I'm just gonna come up underneath here and just lift it and remove that on both sides. Now once that's been removed, we're just gonna close this up and seal it. So now we have our envelope. Just to give you an idea, this is an old Navy gift card and you'll see how nicely that fits in here. So now it's just time to decorate it. Now when I did mine, I chose to put the belly band to the front of the flap to hold it down. Now if you prefer to put it on the other side, that's fine as well. I cut a piece of designer series paper from the Timeless Elegance designer series paper pack. And this measures one inch by six inches. And you can go a little bit longer. I was just a bit frugal because I can get a lot more out of a sheet of designer series paper. I'm gonna use the dark side on the outside. So I'm gonna add a little bit of snail adhesive on one end here. And you're gonna notice I'm using my craft mat. Love this, because adhesive will not stick to it. So it protects my work surface from being sticky. So I'm gonna start by wrapping this around here. Now you're gonna see these barely, barely make it. Now I don't wanna make the belly band too tight because remember you wanna be able to slide it on and off to get your gift card holder in there or to get your gift card in there. Now it's gonna be very, very important that you don't put too much adhesive otherwise it's gonna stick. So now, now we have the belly band. From the same designer series paper stack, I've just chosen some printed paper that's in there and I'm using the Pansy Punch and I'm gonna punch two of these out. 
here comes the fun part. We are going to crumble these up. I know there's probably some of you that are freaking out right about now thinking, oh my gosh, that pretty paper, she's gonna rip it and crinkle it. Yep, I am. See, I want my flowers to look more realistic and no petal is perfectly flat. So by crumpling the paper, I'm gonna get a more realistic appearance and not to mention if I've had a stressful day, this is just really quite ooh, therapeutic, lots of fun. Okay, so I'm using this again. I'm gonna add a little bit of snail adhesive to the center here. And I am gonna offset my petals just a little bit. There we go. Now in the center, I'm gonna add another petal. And this is using the Petite Petals Punch. And I'm using a scrap piece of basic black cardstock. This is gonna go in the center as well. I'm gonna add a little adhesive to that. And that's gonna go here. Now we're gonna fluff this up in just a minute, but just to give you an idea, I'm just gonna kind of curl these up. And of course, this could have been crinkled as well. And lastly, I thought that center needed a little bit of something and I absolutely am loving these metal rimmed pearls. The little yellow thing on the back, that's actually paper that's covering the adhesive and they come in assorted sizes. I'm gonna choose a big one for this since it's a 3D project. I'm going to use my paper piercing tool again to get that paper off the back. See how nice and sticky this is? And this will go right in the center. The next thing is a little tiny piece of very vanilla cardstock. And this is half an inch wide. And I've pulled this greeting that says to you from me from probably one of my very favorite greeting stamps. This is called And Many More. There's just about everything you can think of in here, including holidays. Using my Memento ink pad, I'm gonna ink up my stamp, and I'm gonna stamp my greeting right here in the middle. So I want the banner tip on here, and of course you can cut that by hand with your scissors, but here is a great little tip. The hexagon punch will make a perfect banner tip for these little tiny pieces. You see this little point right here? If you slide your paper in, and you line it up so that the point appears to be visually down the center of your paper and you punch, look at you get a little tiny banner. I used my bone folder again and I actually broke down the fibers of the paper a little bit so I could make it a little bit curlier. And I wanted this because I wanted some texture. It's a 3D project. So on here, you can add a dimensional or you can add adhesive, but I'm gonna recommend that you add it to the belly band and not to the flower so that you don't end up on the actual envelope itself. And then I'm gonna stick that right on top of here. Okay, I also added a little bit of bling. And of course, you know, this is optional. This is the silver sequin trim and I've cut off about four inches. For that, I like to use glue dots, so I'm gonna end up in folding this in half and I'm gonna add that here and just pull this off. And then I'm gonna tuck this underneath one of those petals to kind of hide my raw ends. So I have a little bit of bling there. And now we're gonna add our greeting. And another glue dot's gonna work famously for this. There we go. And then I'm gonna tuck this underneath here. So making sure that it's sticking to the belly band and not to the actual envelope. There you go. Isn't that easy? It's pretty, huh? So here's the one we made today, and here's my original. I'm so glad you joined me, and I hope that you'll come back next Monday for another video. Have a great week, everyone.